welcome to Joko Outdoors. And I want to thank y'all for joining us. And today's a great day. Well, it's always a great day when you get out here in the woods. But today, I want to tell you a little story. So this morning, got out of the truck. I just had a good, just, you know how you get that one good feeling about it? And I wasn't thinking it was about a deer. I think it was just about the Lord blessing us. So I put the... Uh, Got to the edge of the woods, and I came up about probably 200 yards above my stand. And I pulled out the my drag that was all loaded with uh, Phillips Outdoors dough and heat. Laid it on the ground and started walking. And I went over a couple of logs, a couple of trees that had fallen down. Just past the feeder, I dropped a teak bomb with loaded with the same thing, dough and heat. And then I continued to walk. Walked down, and then I came back up where my stand is, and I dropped another Tink's bomb right there, about probably 20, 20 feet from the stand, just to help cover the scent. And then I pulled the drag over, and I just laid it on a limb, climbed up in the stand. I got up in there, got settled. Seen Brian finally get. Brian got settled. He was, he was his light went off, so I'm like, okay, he's set, set. And we was like, okay, well, the sun's still got about 20 minutes to come up. So, as normally what I do is I just commune with the Lord a little bit. So, I bowed my head and started praying. And I prayed for everyone. Everyone that's got problems. Everyone that's got health problems. And everyone who's doing well. I still pray for you too. And the last thing I said is, Lord, if it be your will, let a deer show today. Because... That is the desire of my heart. And the Bible tells us that if we delight in the Lord, He will give us the delights of our heart. And I know you're going to think, well, this is some prosperity thing. It's not. It's about being faithful. It's about coming in here, being faithful to what God has done for us. And He has blessed me and Brian beyond measure. Definitely. So let me uh, take you in, show you what we got have not seen it yet i stopped him so, before he could get right. there but i want to show you so, i want to show you so he hasn't seen it yet yeah. but look at that it was definitely a good shot all right come on ken yeah i stopped him right there blood on the tree because i got ahead of him come on around and bada boom here he is and he is not as big as I thought he was, but you know what? This is still going to be the biggest buck I've ever shot. Get down there with it. I mean, he is something else. This is a big old, nice, probably uh, two-year-old, maybe two-and-a-half-year-old deer. Yeah, and, yeah, he's probably two-and-a-half, yeah. You know, it's not the biggest one I ever killed. I should. I'm sorry, it's the biggest one, but it's not the biggest one I've seen. But... There's this old adage that an old hunter told me one time. And I want you guys to think about this when you're out there hunting for big bucks. Never pass on a deer that you would shoot on the last day of the season. Yeah, for sure. Because you may not ever see him again. And I've have passed on bucks before. Thinking, well, a bigger one's going to show. And lo and behold, I didn't see another buck the whole rest of the season. So... Put him up there. Get his head. Get his head up there. Not the biggest, but he's still decent size. Oh yeah, I mean, he's he's good body for a North Carolina deer. This guy is huge. And I use my handy dandy trusty 300 blackout to do the deed, and it did the deed very well. So I just want to show you one. I told you we was going to show you some hunting videos, and. I wish I had had a camera because it would have been awesome watching him come in. Because when he came into the woods, I seen him come in with his tail straight up and his head down, right on that trail through that drag. And he followed it like it was like he was on a string. Just right down, he stopped at that first bomb, stuck his nose in it, sniffed it a little bit. And it was still, the light sun was not really up yet. I couldn't see really what he was, but I knew he was a buck because of the way he was acting. And then he came on down and he slowed down. And just as the sun started coming up, I got a glimpse of 
his antlers. And I was like, ooh, that is a buck. This is one of the bucks that's on our pictures. And matter of fact, thing. let me tell you. Now let me tell you, this is all right. So last week, me and Brown were out here hunting. And actually, when you shot your deer that same day. No, no, it was out on y'all on the trail. That's right. You were you saw some, we saw some does. That's right. The day Brian shot the coyote. Mm -hmm. All right, so Brian shot that coyote, and he saw this buck. Yep, I did through the edge of the woods. He didn't ever come out, and he came out. I was on the other field stand, and I seen him, and I could have shot him right there, but I let him walk. Actually, he didn't ever give me an opportunity. He never stopped. So I say I could have shot him. I doubt I could have shot him. It would have been very. Uh, it'd been a very bad shot i think if i tried but lo and behold he showed his face again this morning and he's a little he's nice i mean he's a he's a five pointer one one two three four five that's, five. that's crazy how he ain't got no brow tines yeah that's but he's i mean he's not real old not real old and he's not really a wall mounter so this one's not going to the taxidermist but i may do my first European mount on this guy just to see how it is. I've never done it before, so you guys might have to come along with us. And if you got any suggestions on doing that, put it in the comments because I ain't got no idea how to do it. I'm going to have to go look on YouTube myself. <laughs> but one thing, before I before you we even go any farther, I want you to like, give me a thumbs up. You got to give a thumbs up to someone who takes a buck and if it's their first buck. And I'm 50 years old, and this is my first decent-sized buck. I've killed some little spikies and, you know, a little, little cow horn one that, you know, about the same height as this one, but it was old cow horn. And that's all I've really done. I've been a doe slayer. I mean, as a matter of fact, my family has labeled me the doe slayer because that's all I ever shoot. That's all I ever see. And then this morning, like it was dropped from heaven. So give me a thumbs up. And if you have not done yet, go ahead and subscribe. You know, go down there, ring that notification bell, and go down and hit all so you can see when we put new videos up. And I keep looking around because I keep hearing stuff, so I'm waiting for, you know, another one to just walk up because this is the way the deer are. I mean, think about that. Brian shot that coyote. All those does ran down, right down through here. In less than two minutes after two I shot minutes, that coyote. He comes bebopping yep. up, the, up the hill. So. Don't ever think a gunshot will scare off a deer. They don't. They, they hear gunshots all the time. But we are blessed with a great piece of property here that, and because the way me and Brian hunt, we don't put a lot of pressure on the deer. We don't leave our scent in the woods all the time, tromping around all over the place, scouting and like, like I've done in the past. We really are taking good management of this property, trying to make sure that everything gives us our best opportunity to hunt and the best opportunity to be successful. So I want you to uh, subscribe if you have not subscribed. I already said, I know I said it, I'm a little bit still shaking up here. But I want you to remember this because I already told you. God is in control of all things. And this is God's country. Y'all take care.